Hey YouTube, it's DJ Case UK with another video on Acid Pro. I also talk about other creative software such as Soundforge, Spectralayers, Vegas and Cubase. So if you enjoyed that sort of content on making music, before we get started, make sure you hit subscribe to get more content like this. Give the video a like, share the video to help more people find the content. And if you're already subscribed, thanks very much. As you can see, I'll no longer be appearing in these videos to make the recording much easier, but you can follow the mouse on screen and I'll put a picture of a cat in the corner for you to help guide you through this video. If you don't subscribe, I might not be able to feed the cat, so make sure you have clicked the button and share the video with literally everyone. With that being said, let's get into this video. So in this video, I thought it would be good to show you how effects chains works because I can see loads of you asking about that in the Facebook group. So today I'm going to be covering for you how to add effects chains, what effects chains are, how effects chains work, what effects you can add, how many effects you can use, and then I'll show you a live demonstration using effects chains. I'll put markers in the video for you so if you want to come back to things later, it'll be much easier for you to do that. And for this demonstration, I will of course be using the aim and break. Okay, so let's get started. So I have a little project going here and you can see here I have an audio track with my aim and break and I have a MIDI track which has been assigned to a piano instrument uh, and I've drawn some chords in there. I will be releasing a sample pack soon so be sure to follow my Bandcamp page where you'll be able to get lots of MIDI samples so that you'll be able to just drag chords into your project if you have all the chords already made you can just literally drag them into your project it'll save you a lot of time so make sure you are following on Bandcamp because I am going to be releasing those very soon so if you want to start an effects chain on an audio track the simplest way would be to press this button here which is your track effects button you can also see it down here on the mixing console and if you want to start an effects chain on a MIDI track or an instrument as you can see MIDI tracks don't have an effects button so you can assign the effects to a synth instrument instead down here in the mixing console. I'll show you how you can set up effects buttons in another video so that you can do things such as side chaining. For this video I just want to keep it pretty simple and show you the basics. So what is an effects chain and how do they work? For an example then I'll use the audio track and I will just add a effects. So I'll click the button and it brings up this window here and I'm going to select a track EQ click this button add and that's now started the effects chain so I'm going to click OK and now I have the track EQ in my audio plugin window so I'm just going to play the track as it is to start with great and on this track EQ I'm just going to take out all of the high end so now play it again it's taken out a lot of this high end. So you can then add another effects and that is what an effects chain is. It's basically a string of effects lined up together. You can see now once I've started an effects chain, it also has a button to, to add more effects inside the audio plugin window. You can also mute these on and off by ticking these. Take one out and see how that sounds. Just click the tick here. Once you've got the audio plugin window, it's, it's probably easier just to, to add everything from here. So I'm going to add another one. I'm just going to put in another track EQ. And you can see now it's starting to build the effects chain by adding more effects into the chain. So I'm going to click OK. So for this one, I'm actually going to, I'm actually going to boost the, the levels back up. So on this one we've taken it down and then on this one we've built it back up and because this is playing in a chain it's going to do these in order. So first of all it's going to take it off and then the second one it's going to bring it back. So now when we play it it's pretty much going to sound how it was when it started. Let's see. Great, it's now taken it off and now it's put it back on again. And that is the basics of an effects chain and how they work. So what kind of effects can you add? Well, in Acid Pro, you have all of these that come with the installation. 
Um, I might have a few extra ones showing here because I also have Sound Forge installed on my computer and that comes with some effects as well, but these are the ones that you get with Acid Pro um, and, and with the software. So you can see here there's a whole range of things here. You've got the acid effects, acoustic mirror, amplitude modulation, chorus, distortion, dither, elastic time stretch, amplitude modulation, audio restoration, chorus, delay, distortion, dynamics, equalization, flange wah wah, graphic EQ, noise gate, reverb, stutter, time stretch, wah wah, uh, gapper and snipper, Graphic Dynamics, Graphic EQ, Multiband Dynamics, Multi-Tap Delay, Noise Gate, Pan, Paragraphic EQ, Parametric EQ, Pitch Shift, Renaissance Filter, Reverb, Simple Delay, Smooth Enhance, Time Stretch, Track Compressor, Track EQ, Track Noise Gate, Vibrato, Volume, Sony Wave Hammer, and the wave hammer surround sound. Also, if you install any plugins that are effects um, or tools that you can assign, they will also show up here inside your plugin menu and you can just select them. I'll show you in another video how you can install extra plugins and effects and give you some recommendations of extra tools to add into your Asset Pro. And now I'll just show you how many effects you can add in. So we've already got two in here. And this is where Acid Pro is really good. You can literally add quite a few in here. So we've got two in here already. And I'm just gonna keep adding these and just see um, how many effects we can add in. So there you go, so you can actually have a chain of up to 32 effects at one time, which is a huge amount of effects. I mean, if you actually need to have that many effects in a chain, you probably would need to consider the CPU on your computer. Obviously there is a, a chance of crashes if you are trying to run more than you can handle. If you are needing to use this many effects, you're probably doing something wrong. It's about using the right effects at the right time and to have this many in a chain is very unlikely that in a, in a normal situation you know you might want to add a bit of reverb and a little bit of EQ um, and then maybe a bit of compression but, but you're probably not going to want to add this many but it's very good that you can as long as your computer can handle it. I tend to use my task manager um, so that I can see the performance of my computer um, and I like to just keep an eye on this to make sure that I'm not overusing the computer um, that's completely optional but of course it is good to, to keep an eye on, on on what your computer can handle because you always have a chance of crashing if you are trying to run too much at the same time but let's say I want to swap the order of the chain so what I could actually do is I could left click and hold down this track EQ and I can just drag that across. Great, so there you go, that's really how you use effects chains and, and, and what they're used for. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, share the video. And that's it from me, that's it from the cat. Thanks for watching, see you on the next video. Also, if you would like to raise money for cat food, there'll be a link in the description. And of course, if you do support this, that does also help me and help my channel. And it will help the cat as well. So, thanks for watching. See you on the next video.